He is the child I am for. She is the child I am for. They are the children I am for. Hi, my name is Karsh, and with me today is Janice Clark from Children Placement. Janice has been with Children Placement since 2006, and she is the training specialist and coordinator. Janice, can you tell me a little bit more about what Children Placement does and how they do it? Sure. We are a nonprofit. We're the Connecticut affiliate of National CASA. Uh, CASA is Court Appointed Special Advocate. We primarily train community volunteers to represent a child's best interest in abuse and neglect proceedings in court. We also have an empowerment component, which is directed towards high school students, 14 to 18, where we provide services and opportunities for them to help prepare them for successful independence and mm -hmm. aging out of the, the foster care system. What kind of struggles do these children face on a daily basis? They, they face all sorts of struggles. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing is um, the inconsistency in their lives. When you're dealing with and working with children and families in the child welfare system, oftentimes there's a lot of movement. So uh, they're moving from home to home. They have a different social worker. They have a different attorney. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not consistent all the way through, right. um, which is why we ask our volunteers mm -hmm. to, to um, give a two-year commitment mm -hmm. to, to our children and the children that we serve because we want there to be consistency right. and to really try to connect with them uh, in a way where our volunteers are building rapport with them and really helping the family be successful. Our guardian at Light and Volunteers only have one case, um, sometimes two, but primarily one. Mm -hmm. um, so they're really focused on that kid, on that family. Right. What are the needs? Mm -hmm. How do I determine the family dynamic? Um, how can I effectively advocate for this child in court, and mm -hmm. sometimes out of court, sometimes in right. school at, at um, different school meetings for and sure. things like that. Mm -hmm. Now these guardians at Lightum, could you explain exactly what their role is? Their role is to represent best interest. Where should they live, short term and long term? Who should be their guardian? What services do they need to be successful? You know, are they visiting? with family members to really maintain a connection to a family. You're the training specialist and coordinator. What kind of the processes do these volunteers have to go through in order to be trained mm -hmm. um, to, to help these children out? We do have an extensive kind of vetting process. The initial thing is to submit an application, um, which can be found on our website. There are background checks that have to be completed. There are personal references that go out. There's a fairly lengthy in interview. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there's even observations during the training. We offer a 40, we require a 40 hour training, mm -hmm. pre-service training um, before volunteers are cleared to take a case. Where does Children in Placement garner their support for these youth? Well, we're a statewide um, organization, so we try to move around the state. Primarily, it's uh, word of mouth and private donors. Um, we do online campa campaigns, fundraising campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, we have an annual fundraiser called Cooking for Casa, mm -hmm. um, and that is normally in the greater New Haven area mm -hmm. um, with some of the fabulous restaurants that we have there. And then, you know, folks like yourself who reach out to us and say, you have a great cause, mm -hmm. how can I support it? So we try to really kind of collaborate with our community mm -hmm. partners. If you'd say there was one reason someone should support children in placement, what would that reason be? To provide a greater level of support uh, for these youth. Our goal, and it's also National CASA's goal, is to provide one GAL volunteer, a guardian ad litem, to every child that's in the child welfare system. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of children, hence a lot of volunteers are right. needed. Right. And that's through your time, through your finances, mm -hmm. through your skill set. Um, you know, we, we try not to turn anyone away. <laughs> we try to right. use them in, in whatever area we mm -hmm. can. If there was one thing that children placement could solve forever, what would you want that to be? The obvious answer is abuse and neglect. Children are, are one of the most vulnerable populations. To see them experience trauma um, is heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. So it would be awesome if we could solve that. Beyond that, obvious answer, I think, would be to be able to provide a, a voice for them in court mm -hmm. to every child that's in a child protection uh, proceeding, to be able to have a guardian at light and volunteer who just has that one family, that one child um, in their caseload, right. um, to be able to provide that would be, would be great. What further measures could we take to prevent abuse and neglect 
um, from happening in the first place? Uh, I think that's a difficult and kind of loaded question. Mm -hmm. um, because abuse and neglect is cyclical, the parents of the children that we're representing, they've also been victims of mm -hmm. abuse and neglect. Uh, so I think part of that is just kind of breaking the cycle mm -hmm. through education. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Um, you were definitely very informative. Thank, thank you. you.